Okay, let's spend a little bit of time on phasers and phase rotation because that's very fundamental to what we're going to be going over um, the next several nights. And again, we've touched on this a little bit. Let me blow this up just a little bit here. Um, you know, when we did uh, general power. Um, so you remember you always consider a counterclockwise rotation here. Um, and a lot of times we'll talk about an ABC rotation. So that means that A phaser, I always think of it, it crosses zero, then B crosses zero next, and then C crosses zero after that. So that would be an ABC rotation. Uh, one cautionary note here, uh, I have seen this done where they'll define um, the rotation in a, f you know, not, well, I don't, I don't want to say not standard because I don't even know if there is a standard, but sometimes they'll, maybe they'll call it, uh, let's think about this here. Sometimes they'll call it a CAB rotation. The heck is a CAB rotation? We're talking about ABC or ACB. So what if they say you have a CAB rotation? Well, I always do it this way. If you if you're told it's a CAB rotation, and I have seen that, just repeat it one more time. As you can see, because you know, the phasers are just going around and around and around, right? So it's a repetition or a pattern. So a CAB is also an ABC rotation. You just have to write it twice and you can't possibly uh, mess it up. Um, and that is A followed by B followed by C when the phasers are rotating counterclockwise. Okay? Now what about uh, ACB rotation? Now I think I have it on the next slide here. Yes, yeah, so if the if the sequence is reversed, it becomes an ACB rotation. Um, I guess I didn't show it, so let me just draw it up here. So now, if you had, um, and I'll talk about that in a second, Peter, because uh, yeah. So <laughs> there are two ways to think about this. This is where it always gets tricky. So an ACB rotation, if you had the A vector here, the C vector here, and the B vector here, so get rid of those two guys, and it rotated counterclockwise, you can see that you'd have A followed by C followed by B. That would be an ACB rotation, right? Or if they tried to call it a CBA, um, you know, you just repeat the pattern A, C, B one more time, and you know, you can see that it could be called a CBA, it could also even be called a BAC. Okay, that's one way to think about it. There is another way to think about it, and we'll talk about this when we start talking about the motors, um, because in reality, if you switch your B and C leads, your motor will turn the opposite direction, and we'll, we'll figure out, I'll explain very clearly why that is. But um, if you kept this phase sequence and instead turned this thing clockwise, then it would be an A, C, B rotation. So if it's counterclockwise and it's configured this way, then it would be an ABC. If you turned it clockwise with this configuration, it would be an ACB. It's the exact same thing mathematically as if you have you know, your A, your C and your B and you turn it counterclockwise. So uh, I don't know if that answers your question Peter but uh, I always like to think of it as the phasers rotating counterclockwise and I just switch the A and the B. Um, it's easier to think about, it's easier to draw and stuff like that. But in reality um, like in the case of motors it really is turning the other way when you switch those two leads. But let's stick with counterclockwise rotation and uh, just change the, the location of the C and the B vector um, you know, for the problems that we work here. Mathematically, it works out just fine. OK, so let's take a look at this, uh, this Y configured circuit here. 
so we've got some phase voltage, which is A to neutral. Uh, and we'll call that at zero degrees. So that would be the voltage. Uh, let's see if this is, this is A lead, B lead, and C lead. So here's your A to neutral voltage. Here's your B to neutral voltage. And here's your C to neutral voltage. And so we're going to say A to neutral is at zero. That puts B to neutral at minus 120 and C to neutral at minus 240, which is the same thing as positive 120. And that's the configuration that's been shown right here.